Hi, good afternoon, my dear students. Once again, welcome back to our seventh class social science. And in previous class, we were uh, discussing about the geography. Uh, first chapter that is North America. Okay. And before starting the class, I hope all are fine and take care. Okay. So once again, welcome back to social science geography. Uh, first chapter North America. Okay. And we already studied that this uh, North America is the third largest continent in the world after Asia and Africa. Okay. We know that there are seven continents are there. They are uh, Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Europe, Antarctica, Australia. These are the seven continents of the world. Okay. Now, uh, in previous class, we stu already studied about Asia and Africa. Now, we are studying about North America. Okay. And this continent was discovered by, this North America was uh, discovered by one Italian navigator. Uh, soon after the discovery of uh, Vasco da Gama, uh, the discovery of sea route to India. Okay. It was in 1498. And it was in 1501. One Mr. Americo, Amerigo Vespucci, uh, he was from Italy and uh, he, his plan was to come to India. So unfortunately he reached, he was navigating to come to India but unfortunately he was landed on a place uh, in America and he called it as West Indies. Okay. He given the name it as West India. Okay. And his aim was to come to real India, but he, he reached in the western part of uh, India and he given the name for the country as West Indies. Okay. Now you know that West Indies is very famous for cricket also. Okay. And this North America we can see uh, prairies. Prairies is a grassland region and in America this grasslands we can see they are producing the uh, wheat crops there. Okay. Wheat crops are being cultivated in their acres of and acres of thousands of acres of land. Okay. And because of this region uh, prairies is known as the hub or the uh, wheat basket of the world. Prairies is known as the wheat basket of the world. It's like grasslands we can see many parts of the world when we go to South America we can see pambas okay and wells like that many uh, names we can see regarding grasslands okay and coming to uh, North America. North America has uh, really 24 countries are there and uh, out of these 24 countries these uh, countries like Mexico, Canada, USA uh, Alaska and Denmark or Greenland are the important uh, countries of North American continent. Okay. And in the beginning, uh, this country was discovered by, I told you, uh, one Mr. Amerigo Vespucci from Italy. And later, soon after what happened, the British and <coughs> British as well as the French people also dominated in world. America, North America. As a result, what happened? Uh, earlier, American people does not know English. After the arrival of the British, they started learning English. Okay, the English of America is known as American English. Okay, and uh, from Africa also, uh, these British people uh, brought many, many, many slaves, uh, Negro slaves to. America and they treated very badly and this is how the Negro people also we can see nowadays in America okay and later Abraham Lincoln uh, he abolished the system of slavery system in, in America due to many many agitations and freedom fighting from the side of the Negro African people in America North America okay and in this uh, countries, among these countries, Mexico is very famous. Me Mexico is very rich in gold deposit. Okay. 
and in the initial stage these european countries like britain and france exploited their natural resources especially gold okay and moreover they exploited the people the inhabitants in the america as well as the uh, slaves they brought from uh, africa okay and <coughs> now let us uh, see the location of the location and extent of north america okay it is location latitude we can see it is 19 degree north to 71 degree north that is the latitude okay and the longitude is 15 degree west to 150 degree west and it is the third largest country in the world and uh, we can we let us find out where is the location of exact location of uh, north america it is in between pacific ocean pacification is of uh, pacific ocean is located on the west part of north america and we can see atlantic ocean in the east side of north america okay and uh, the prairies is very famous in north america acres of thousands of acres of lands are covered by wheat and they are exporting wheat to uh, for other countries and by uh, by this they are achieving they are getting lot of profits okay and moreover we can see uh, five important lakes are there in north america and the missouri and mississippi are the important uh, rivers of north america okay and uh, talking about prairies uh, they are cultivating immense of wheat okay after their usage they are exporting to many many countries and they are getting lot of income okay that is about uh, north america and i hope you understood this uh, introduction about uh, north america okay in coming chapters we can explain more about the vegetation and the mineral resources and so on okay till then take care have a nice day thank you